Okay, 10 and 0. It's a little mini series, just getting ready for the new year, breaking it in. So let's just crack on and see how we get on. Let's take this bishop off the board. We have our answer process. We have the mantra in the answer process. Um, we've had a good year of chess. So it's uh, been a good learning journey this year. Tempting to go with the queen, you know, but all, all sorts of stuff's going to happen. So I really wanted to take that bishop, but he's just going to drop this pawn here. And shall we risk it for a biscuit? Yeah, let's do it different. Oh, he's not actually done that. Interesting times. Let's get the bishop out. He's got an x-ray through now. Do we go with this? He's got the pawn. We've got the knight. Does he take with the knight? Takes back. Still has the knight that can go anywhere. Swing him here, but then we can take the bishop if he does. Hmm. Is that too fancy? Is my bed not sorted yet, really? Because I've got this knight on the back here. If I'm entertaining all of that, it looks like there's a lot of stuff kicking off. I'm going to do it. <laughs> Let's see how it looks. Oh, he didn't take with the pawn. Well, that messed everything up, didn't it? I mean, that's going to be pretty... Is he plus one? So I'm going to have to take the pawn just to stay even. Yeah, so that's not really the same, but... Same but different. It's just I don't really want the bishop having the power over that diagonal. And I'm going to move the knight. Knight's got to be moving at some point. It's not actually moving. Always for the damn B pawn, aren't they? They just can't leave it alone. So we go and defend with the knight here. Then the knight moves. So we can't take the bishop. Or do we just attack the queen? Attack the queen defending the pawn. Gives them something to think about. Then does his knight do something? I know he's waiting to do whatever it is. You know, his discover check thing. Going to attack the queen stick with what we we've been working on so at least it's giving them something to think about it's on a white square so the bishop's not coming back and attacking here could attack the queen again so that's been a bit of a nuisance isn't it why is he gone here it's opposite here so the knight's going to do a whirlwind it's not on that pawn uh, anything else? Do, 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 do. Knight attacking the queen. Just harassing it. Comes back again. Attacks the pawn. Let's go with simple for now. Time's running out. Well, it's got six minutes. It's not too bad. It's chomping at the bit. Alright, so. It's on a white square still. So we come back here. Does the queen have anything? Pawn pushes? No. Right, so, uh, let's just bring the knight back. Okay, we've done enough there. Get ready to move the queen now. Let's attack their queen. Because this knight is getting busy. He wants to get busy. He's going to do something. He's not done it yet. Let's attack the queen. Let's get it out of there. Obviously, they're not going to exchange because they never do. So it's going to swing across here and say, well, if you're grabbing my pawn, I've got something for you. I don't know what it is yet, but we'll just wait and see. Oh, they've captured. Okay. That's a horse of a different color. Oh, look at that stealth bishop just going whoosh. That's a damn shame. And they've resigned. Okay, 10 and 0. see what we've got in this game just bringing the knight through supporting the pawn let's bring the bishop through as we do stopping the fried liver and 
that's an interesting maneuver what would we do in this situation we will grab the pawn as we do and then push this pawn here just to stop this so that we can get the knight out and we don't mind doubling the pawns in this situation now this is where it's going to get a little bit hairy but I'm not sure if the queen is in the right position for that let's just bring the knight up I'm hoping that's a bit previous for, you know bringing this queen here gonna capture I'm still hoping yep right so let's castle I'm hoping they've made a little bit of a situation for themselves if I can make it work for myself I'm going to bring the bishop here attacking the queen it's going to want to try and get towards our king Gary but it might be del delayed now with the position that they're in so I think they're probably going to continue on this diagonal looking to try and get this pawn oh that's gonna hurt that's got to hurt we'll take um, okay and they've resigned excellent ten and do this is the last game of 2023 let's see if we can pull out all the stops all the learning obviously not all the learning all at once it all depends on what the opponent does keep it simple let's take this knight off the board castle we don't have to rush to do the moves either just because we're on the last game let's just chill find the appropriate positions maybe well, use pr appropriate calculation and avoid narration mode just because it's the last game yes we're going to chit chat but do not make a move until you've calculated properly we can hit this pawn we've got the knight and the queen supporting the attack we'll take with the knight because the knight can also attack this pawn knight can also jump here to get the bishop off the board it's a very busy knight and before we do anything else is there any fantastic type situation no let's just grab it's got a two on one so we're going to bring the rook now supporting with the knight it's probably looking to get a three on one there so if we put an x-ray through onto the queen it's a bit uncomfortable for them knight could look to jump into this space at some point Okay, so let's move the queen off of the attack so this knight could come here to attack this pawn so i'm actually going to do that but the knight's probably going to take but that's fine for us so we're going to take with the pawn because the rook is on the queen the queen is jumping dead quick looking to get our bishop bishop can attack their rook rook comes out and we just move the bishop back again or we can actually take a pawn because it will be a back rank mate let's go here or maybe not actually what am I on about I was thinking oh yeah we come here and then thinking that he's not going to take but his rook will take then our queen will take and then he'll move the bishop out of the way so then there is no back rank so we have to move the bishop this way nice idea but good job we talked about it just then yeah so it does take let's grab the queen is going to go greedy munching for the pawn here and we get a back ranker oh maybe not today thought that was going to be a nice cheapy for us let's just bring the queen here king's moving across we're going to have to move our queen coming for all sorts of stuff look cheap little moves just like what we were looking for <laughs> the 
it's like this must be their last game as well. Everybody's going for the cheap stuff. Let's just bring this here, attacking the pawn, looking to try and double up. It's obviously got space here. It's a shame this is a dark square bishop, but never mind. And they've got moves to make. It's, it's not like we've found a miraculous position anywhere. I mean, that's, a, that's the key one, I think. Does have an attack of his own. The rook can come and defend the pawn. Queen could attack the pawn if it was thinking that way. But no, the seconds are running down and the light is still on. Strange behaviour. I'll have to kick in another one. Damn. last game of 2023 let's just hit this center here let's take and take let's attack the king and let's attack their king few of my favorite videos that I personally like are the um, relentless videos I'm hoping to go out relentlessly attacking this player boom let's attack this knight see if we just keep the pressure up just keep on pushing and pushing let's take attacking the queen take the knight off the board and let's castle before his rook gets here. Any more pressure? Let's see, must be some pressure points. Could attack the bishop, but the pawn's just going to drop. Let's bring the bishop out. There's no point going for something that we know potentially is just going to, it's going to be better for them. Bishop's attacking, he's got the rook. Does it improve their position on the board though? That's the key thing. Let's um let's get here. Going for the cheapy. Giving them something to think about. They've actually stalled. Relentless. I still think they're going to take the rook anyway. Because they'll be thinking, well, I'm going to still win a tempo. Oh, they haven't done. Just attacking this pawn here with the queen. Could move the rook out of the way now. So that rook is going to get hit. That's no problem. So bring the knight across. Get more pieces to the party towards their king. The relentless pathway. Let's go. Just try and get up here somehow. However it takes, whatever it takes, relentlessly. Let's keep moving. They're just peeling off pieces. Yeah, they know what's coming. So that's why <laughs> they just want to get the queen off the board. So we don't have to exchange. We can block even with the knight. But then obviously the pawn comes down. Oh, this pawn. If that pawn drops. So we're not going to do that. I don't think. And it's, they're only plus two. I don't think we need to lose too much sleep over that. If we move the queen here, the rooks are going to harass it. Let's bring the queen here. The rooks are going to harass it. We can't take this because the queen is defending. Let's need to get some sort of movement.
Yeah. As we said, the rooks will always go into harass it. But we said we want a little bit of movement. Just trying to set the stall up. Got a little bit of a pawn hanging there, but it's that's nothing major at this moment. They'll be looking to do something like this or whatever to get towards our king area. Maybe get the bishop here and stuff. Attacking the king area. The answer process. I'm taking a long pause. a bit nasty doesn't it it's attacking all sorts of stuff queen's just gonna come down for the bishop let's get the knight in there relentless we said relentless pressure even though they're plus two but try to improve this position on the board as part of what we've been doing throughout the year Get, try and get the pieces working together. I think it's just going to continuously keep attacking the queen anyway. Queen can escape. It's got many places that it can go. Here. 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 So it's got options and choices. And what are we targeting? Uh, a little flimsy attack here. It's supported by the uh, rook. Bishop's not targeting anything yet. He's wanting to get our queen off the board. Don't like our queen. Just missed that knight. Rook wasn't there. So we have a place to go to. Attacking the bishop and also the pawn. Anything else? I think that's what we're going to do. I know it's moving away from our own king. But relentless is the order of the day. So let's just keep that pressure on, give them something to think about. Bishop's coming here to support the pawn, because this pawn is supporting them. Relentless pressure. Bring the knight here, attacking the bishop, but also the bishop is attacking the queen. So the queen is probably going to go back. That's not what we said was happening at all. But we can still attack the bishop, but the queen is attacking the bishop. Sorry, the bishop is attacking our queen. We can take the bishop, he takes the rook. Yeah, seems sounds sensible to me. Let's go with that. Keep the relentless business going, not precious about the level of the pieces and we still do have this which is attacking their queen so they're going to find a way of attacking our queen out there so I'm going to bring this so basically the bishop's got a discovery but also attacking their bishop oh that's gonna hurt isn't it but maybe they're thinking they've got the two rooks against the queen which can work so we take a look at the analysis though because there are situations where you know people actually sacrifice their queens because they've got the two rooks and maybe they've got a bishop or whatever it is um was this the case in this scenario no plus four but well, we've changed our um Evaluation total to, um, you know, seven, either plus seven or plus seven, uh, minus seven. So if this opponent had carried on, it, they still got a chance. Yeah, I mean, take, I'm not playing against the computer, as you know, uh, but we're plus four at the moment. So it's showing that we've got some sort of advantage, but it's not a killer advantage. We'd still need to work to try and um, keep that advantage going. 
So yeah, that's not bad at all. I'm, I'm pretty impressed with that. Be, been impressed with the whole year of 2023. And the chess has been taking a, a lovely, positive U-turn in terms of the answer process with the additional concepts that we've put in there. So really comfortable and happy with where we're at with what we're doing and really enjoying it even more so. So yep, signing off from 2023, see you in 2024.